Hello, welcome back to BS Live. So in this episode, I'm going to continue with the Pixar USD format and still kind of exploring how and what it is and how you can use it with Blender. So of course, like I said many times, this uh, USD uh, Blender doesn't have the USD export import add-on yet. Uh, I think the one biggest reason is that because Blender is using Python 3 and USD uh, is really um, the Python is used is a uh, Python 2 but that's probably gonna be solved at some point and in order to do this uh, first of all uh, you go to Pixar USD and uh, read all the documentation here and there's some example what I'm interested to use today uh, the one that I'm gonna be using the, for the demo is this uh, hello world creating your first USD stage using Python and the Python being used here is of course Python 2 um, so I cannot just copy paste and run it inside blender um, so I need to use Python version that's outside of blender but I will be also using blender to generate maybe Susan head and show you how you can use the the data from blender into USD so in order to do this you need to go to github first and then you you do the installations you can follow the step by step uh, on how to install um, the USD. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as installing an app. It's really you need to compile, you need to compile the code. And so far, uh, using Mac OS because I have multiple version of Python, there's a lot of complication because sometimes um, the installation actually compile it using different version of Python. If you have multiple Python two and three. It's really, really confusing, but uh, um, there is a good GitHub uh, USD build club that actually have three or four different ways you can install this uh, USD. So you need to do this first. Uh, find out the, this one, how to build it for Windows or Mac OS, Mac OS for Maya. And in this case, I think the one I'm using is this one. Just do the brew, it's gonna install the required library. Sometimes Qt4 and 5 get mixed up. And then install PyOpenGL. PyOpenGL on Mac doesn't work really well, Like, but I'll show you later. You need to also sort the path and then compile it. Um, ideally, this should kind of smoothly build the USD tools for you. And then also it's installing the Python Pixar USD Python uh, to to build the USD. Anyhow, once that works, you can test it out by going to terminal and then if you type in like uh, if you go to Python and then this is the one I'm using 2.7.15 using Anaconda. If you do this uh, from Pixar import USD, if this works and it doesn't crash, then it's a, it's a good start. Um, you can basically uh, run this tutorial so you can use uh, from Pixar you import USD and USD Geome and then you build the stage and this is gonna build a stage and then create a new file uh, specify the file this is gonna be USDA which is USD ASCII this is human readable and then you do this uh, you create a uh, transform node, call it hello, and then create sphere, hello world, just uh, parent it into hello, and then save it. This uh, five lines of code will generate a scene. This is really interesting, really interesting for me. Uh, when, when you first make this to work, it's kind of uh, really cool. You can do it here uh, using uh, Python here, but I'm using Jupyter Notebook because I, with Jupyter Notebook, I can sort of do it uh, line by line and I can see what's actually going on so let me try doing this I'm kind of memorizing it but it's not uh, not really but I can start from empty scene or empty Jupyter notebook uh, if I can run it so anyhow Jupyter notebook new python 2 okay so this is clean so this is 
demo USB USB A using Python rename. So first line from Pixar import USB and USB G on. It doesn't crash. This is good because the other day it crashed a lot on me. And the next step is to build the stage. Okay, so stage equal USB. I can hit tab and then find out. Okay, I want to uh, create a scene or new scene or stage. They call it stage. And then create new and we call it hello Suzanne. I'll, I'm gonna call it hello Suzanne USDA, right? This should work. If I run this, it's it's actually creating hello Suzanne at this folder. You search uh, my name and then, okay, so that's kind of cool. If I jump into this, I don't think I, I will see anything yet because I haven't saved it. The next line is really creating a stage and then hello world. I'm just gonna copy and paste it for now. Up to this guy. What I need to, uh, the stage is already, uh, this is the variable from the top, so it should be all good. Guessed it, uh, we're gonna get a file over here. Um, we can't see anything. Why? Because I'm using Mac OS beta and then I can't see it here. F fun. So I can use Sublime Text 3 and find the file. Hello, Susan. Okay, hello, Susan. Open. So here, this is the USDA itself. You can see inside here is like a function. It's like a looks like a C kind of language. It's it's all nicely highlighted because I'm using Sublime Text Three and I get the highlighter uh, for this code. Um, that should be pretty clear. But anyhow, don't worry about that. Hello world, and this this is something that you can investigate using a program called USD View. I'm gonna open another terminal, red send, and using USD view, I can select hello Susan. Supposedly it opens an app from Pixar, and this uh, just now you can see uh, for a second there is a, a sphere. I just wanna show show you this, maybe because OpenGL on Mac OS is kind of sucks. You can't see anything here, but supposedly this is running like Hydra, Hydra engine. It's really really fast. It's not really using Hydra, I think. You can't see anything, but you can see the hierarchy. This is the the root, transform, and then there's an object sphere over there. Can't see anything though, right? Unfortunately. So one thing I need to show you is that you can use the Xcode to do this. So, so by, by hitting preview, you can actually see the sphere. But what's cool is that you can open this using, uh, using Xcode. So Xcode, this is also still in beta. Xcode 10 beta 4 for developer. So file, open. This is going to be like all native on the Mac. USD, USDA, etc. And supposedly, Ideally, you can just open it and convert it into any format. So this is USDA, which is basically this guy over here, just few lines of code. And you can see the sphere. No, you can't see the sphere because you need to convert it into SyncKit. SyncKit is for Xcodes for developing app. So that's uh, another format. I'm gonna duplicate it. So it's gonna generate, hello, Suzanne. I'm gonna save it on this same folder. Hello Suzanne, still can't see anything. Why? Because we need to use background. Sometimes this is also crashing. 
but uh, can't see anything still which is cool uh, we just need to file export hello Suzanne export it as DAE at least DAE Collada is something is a format that Blender can use right that's uh, also another thing and I'm gonna be using Blender and try to look at the file for now file import DAE hello Suzanne DAE import import everything you can see the sphere so look at this hello is the transform world is the sphere and the material is uh, completely weird that's why you can't see anything but you can see this is something that I just created using Python and through the USD format um, so yeah that's kind of cool uh, one thing I want to do in order to make this re like real hello Suzanne I'm gonna create a monkey head generate the UV file export as obj selection only I'm gonna save it as Suze export obj and now I'm gonna jump back into my red terminal uh -huh. so it's getting kind of confusing okay this terminal um, USD I'm gonna use XC run USD Z on USD Z converter convert Suzanne OBJ into Suzanne USD Z but I want to have the I want to have everything I want to have the intermediate file which is the USDA that's I'm interested in and also everything else for balls everything so it seems like it's probably working let me quickly check it with using sublime text 3 file open sus okay this is the USDA this is a, I think this is a bug supposed to be just sus USDA but we can see Suzanne this is all the data for Suzanne okay so if I copy that and then paste it into this guy put it into these functions we actually gonna have Suzanne parented under the sphere which is interesting this is really interesting and this is all the Suzanne data we don't specify material yet but at least we know that's Suzanne and if we compile it or if we open it using Xcode we should see there is a Suzanne head just under the sphere file open hello Suzanne hello world and there's Suzanne you can't see it because of the, the file format really I need to just uh, convert it again to sync it sync it again it's a format that's used uh, by Apple to to do 3d in uh, for the app but soon enough you know we're gonna be dealing with USD more often I guess sync it is still sync it so this is now a sync it format and I can use the background procedural sky still cannot see anything maybe because the open GL stuff look at the material Suzanne has a blin world has physically physically based and replace it I have a feeling I just need to zoom out or zoom in but anyhow sync it again file export into DAE hello Susan X go back into blender blender will confirm everything works import DAE hello Susan X so okay we get a sphere we get Susan head and we get the empty the empty is of course the transform that we generated here we call it hello hello world and there's uh, also Suzanne head just parented underneath the world so this is even though this is still pretty raw I think this is really cool uh, ideally I think the USD format we can uh, hopefully get an add-on in blender to export USD import USD 
but USD is like uh, so maybe you have like a lot of blend files of course you can you can have uh, like you can link a lot of blend files for assets but anyhow if we can export it as USD format it's almost like Alembic but USD has a lot more into it so you can with USD format you can maybe specify the material the material itself can be USD format and then you can have like maybe particle simulations animations everything USD not just Alembic and then you can have one USD file that's kind of layer everything that's I think how I understand it maybe I'm wrong but uh, that's how I kind of logically understand it I previously worked in the company where they use Maya and a lot of Python and just um, kind of using Python to do this kind of thing for the pipeline so in the end you always have a shot for a movie you, you might have like 15 sh uh, 150 shots for an episode of uh, an animation and these shots should be able we, uh, we can think of it like a using USD you know you, you can using uh, using this format you can compile combine everything uh, for example this for a movie you might need you have hundreds of different assets um, for the set dressing and then you're gonna you're gonna put your character with uh, and then your character have animations and your character doing something there's an effects and the, there's a lot of uh, particles you want everything maybe as usd uh, in the in the past maybe you use alembic you you might also i remember in the in the pipeline i was working uh the the director uh, maybe specify they want uh, to have a, a table here maybe for example the table different material different color you can specify that using USD somehow um, so yeah uh, it's hard to explain but uh, you need this in the for bigger productions basically if this works properly then with blender then it's really really cool um, for what I'm doing really I'm currently just one like a static object and with all the materials and then maybe some animations to work with the USD Z um, hopefully it's, it doesn't need all this kind of complexity basically if we can export as USD Pixar or Apple please make an add-on for blender hopefully this can be really useful for our 3d content creations not just using Maya Houdini or I don't know um, Katana others but there is also there is also one for cinema 4d I believe um, it's called multiverse it's a paid app So Multiverse IO, it's a, uh, I think developed in Yokohama, it says, in Japan. And this, so maybe big company, they, they are, they've been using this, made in Yokohama, Japan. So you can bring in, basically, assets can be compiled very, very easily. This is using Maya, of course, reading Alembic, etc. So US, Alembic, people, some people say USD is like Alembic. But it's got a lot more description, so you can you can have like a material easily apply. So yeah, this is also interesting. But this one is a paid format, and it's not not too expensive. I think eighty five dollar per year. But I don't know. It's it doesn't really work with Blender. I don't think. So anyhow, there you go. That's uh, my exploration with uh, USD so far. It's nothing so serious yet. It's just really just a simple stage etc but later I want to try with a uh, different material different uh, different kind of maybe try to export animation if, if it's finally worked on Mac so yeah hopefully this is just uh, useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye